Okay, in this particular video, we'll talk about data migration. So we'll start off with the very basic of how you can migrate data into your cloud storage. So there is a very useful service called as a transfer service for cloud data that you can use to migrate data into your cloud storage. So we'll be going through each one of them one by one. So we'll talk about the very basic about how you can transfer publicly accessible files into your cloud storage. So let's look at how we can do that. So to do now to do that, the first thing that you need to create is basically a URL list. Now this URL list will contain all the public files that you want to migrate into your cloud storage bucket. So it will contain a list of all publicly accessible files as a URL. Now this particular URL file is basically a TSV format. So it's basically going to be a TSV format file that you want to generate. And this particular file has to be publicly accessible as well. So what we'll do is we'll create a TSV file and we'll upload it into cloud storage as publicly accessible and that particular publicly accessible file will be used by our transfer service. Okay, so this is a sample TSV file that I've created. So this TSV file should have this header and then it should also have the list of URLs that you want to migrate into your cloud storage. Now remember this has to be a publicly accessible URL. Now this is an S3 URL that I've created. So let me just open this and let me show this to you. So this is that particular URL. Now this particular image, I want to migrate into my cloud storage. So once I've created my particular TSV file, I will upload this into a cloud storage bucket as well. So now I've already done that. I've created a bucket and within this particular bucket, I have uploaded that particular TSV file. So this is that TSV file. And remember this TSV file has to be publicly accessible. So let me copy the public URL of this TSV file and let's go to our transfer service. So again, I'm in my data transfer service. So what I need to do is I just need to create a transfer job. So let's click on create a transfer job. And again, here I will select the URL list. So this is one of the options that we're gonna use. We'll be using the others in the upcoming videos as well. So for this chapter, we'll just concentrate on URL list. And here I'll provide the link to that particular TSC file. Now remember this has to be publicly accessible else it will not work. So let's click on next. And here I want to choose the destination bucket. So if you go back to the link, it's going to be this particular destination destination bucket in which my public URLs will be sent to. So let's choose the public. So let's choose that particular bucket. So we can create a new bucket. So let's create a new bucket. And I'll just call this as my, and let's click on continue. So you can see that it has been taken. So I'll just randomly prefix it with a few numbers and let's click on continue. And I'll just make this as regional and I will just create this particular bucket. Let's click on create. And let's select this particular destination bucket. And that's about it. Let's go to the next. Let's leave everything as default and let's schedule it to run once starting now. So it's gonna start now and it's just gonna run once. So let's click on create. And you can see that that particular transfer job process is running. So let's open this. And you can see that a file has been transferred. So let's go to our cloud storage. And let's open the new destination bucket that we've created. So this was the destination bucket. And within this destination bucket, you can see that there is a folder and that folder contains a PNG file. So this is basically the PNG file that has been transferred into a cloud storage. And you can see it's basically the same PNG file. So if you open the authenticated URL, you can see it's the same image that has been transferred. So that's it for this one. I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next.